Hi folks, Sal Medina, owner, sommelier at Packing House Wines, bringing you this weekend's weekend wine tasting. Uh, this weekend, what we do at, um, every Father's Day weekend is the Caps for Dads weekend. And we've got four great examples of California uh, and Washington State caps from different terroir, different styles, uh, that will go perfect um, on any uh, Father's Day gift basket or uh, pair perfect with any steak. All of these have one common thread in common, and that's the notes of black cherry, black carat, black cassis, which everyone looks for in Cabernet. It's kind of your full-bodied or medium to full-bodied wines. Uh, this weekend, we're gonna open with the Dow Cabernet, which is out of Paso Robles. Um, Dow has come on the um, scene maybe the last two or th four or five years as kind of the new kid on the block that is just doing exceptional things. Uh, great people, great facility, great wines. Uh, a little more blue fruit on this particular cab than any of the others. Uh, but Dow is a, is a fantastic wine. And for those of you that are already drinking Justin, Dow is a short step away in terms of quality and style. Uh, just a fantastic little uh, uh, Cabernet at mid-20s price point. Again, uh, red, blue, black fruit, just easy drinkability. Uh, a fantastic wine with or without food, but again, steak and cab, easy way to go. Uh, following the Dow is the Henry Wines. Um, uh, HRW, in my opinion, this is a Napa cab for under 30 bucks that over delivers. Napa cab prices have recently just been a little bit unapologetically high. Um, I, I, I might say that uh, and it will ruffle people's feathers, but in my opinion, uh, we sell a Napa cab for $50 as if it's just a Napa cab and it's what we do. This one for under $30, uh, great hints of black, blue, uh, oak, fruit. Um, it isn't a twist up, which I particularly love. You don't have to look for a corkscrew, just uh, twist the cap, put it in the glass and enjoy. But Mike makes exceptional wines and this is some of his um, declassified fruit, hence the name change from Henry Wines. Um, this wine is exceptional. Having these side by side would be great to truly see what Paso and Napa are for that mid-20s price point. Uh, both wines not to be missed. Uh, moving over to my left, um, Westerly. Westerly comes out of Happy Canyon of Santa Barbara. Uh, they call it Happy Canyon of Santa Barbara because no one knows where Happy Canyon is. Uh, Happy Canyon is about um, maybe 45 minutes, 40 minutes northeast of Santa Barbara. Uh, this wine is exceptional. Uh, Happy Canyon Sauvignon Blancs and Cabernets are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, mostly sand soil, so the vines uh, really have to work. The roots really have to struggle to get down into the water table. And all of that uh, kind of the soil minerality based component that's in the, uh, the ground goes into the vines. These wines have a little more minerality than these over on this side. But again, black fruit, black cherries, uh, blueberries, but again, just a little bit more of that uh, chalky or brick notes in this one. Uh, Westerly and Happy Canyon cabs or red wines, uh, up and coming cabs uh, for those of us that want to move away from Napa or move away from Paso. Uh, definite great wine to drink. Uh, finishing off the tasting, we're doing Andrew Wills. Uh, this is the Two Blondes Vineyard. Um, out of Columbia Valley. Um, I, I've had many conversations with winemakers up in Washington State and they believe that their wines will someday rival Napa cabs. Um, I believe that to be true. I don't know when and who, but it is happening. Uh, this wine for the mid-30s price point um, absolutely over delivers. Uh, not a heavy amount of oak influence, but uh, a good oak balance, a little more of a, of a kiss of oak. But same setup, black, blue fruit, um, a little bit of oak background, a little bit of vanilla notes to it. Uh, perfect for your steak or your barbecue this weekend, uh, for your Father's Day weekend. Uh, the Caps for Dad tasting, uh, we look forward to it. It's exciting to do every Father's Day, uh, and this one will not disappoint. Um, we are open for dinner. If you are looking to make your way in, do call and make a reservation. Uh, but these wines will pair perfectly with any of the steaks that we have or the steak that you have on your grill. Uh, and as always, I like to finish off, we really do appreciate the support that all of you have given our small business and the small business in your neighborhood. Thank you for all the support over the months. Looking forward to seeing you in house.